All right. Due to popular demand, I have been requested several times to make a review and like installation and guide of everything of Minecraft Comes Alive Reborn. So I'm gonna do that. What you're gonna want to do is you can go to the CurseForge page. Or I think that they have a Modrinth page. I just go to this one because it's easy. Um, there you go. Yeah, you just pick whichever one you want. Um, if you pick one that's 1.18.2, you're gonna have to download Architecture. This is important. Like, there, you don't know how many times uh, we're in the Discord, right? And they're like, I bet I can find one. There it is. Something like this. <laughs> uh, literally, it's easy if you just type this in just at the top. You go percent app dot dot uh, percent. That's all you gotta do is just open up this file explorer and then type that. And I'll bring you to this folder right here. A whole bunch of stuff appears. Don't worry about it. There's a dot Minecraft folder there. Right in this dot Minecraft folder right here, there is gonna be a whole bunch of stuff. You don't have to worry about the rest of it. What you're gonna do is you gonna right click, you hit new, you go folder, you go mods as if you're just using the regular minecraft launcher by the way should be easy and this is assuming you have either fabric or forge already installed because that's just an installer if you're running windows like this is what i'm showing is you do windows it's easy right and you go and then, and then you just put the full the things you downloaded these two things you put them in there right you go to this you just take these you copy them you go back you put that and you put that that's it that's all you do is you go Go to dot minecraft, make photo call mods, put days in there, that's it. Alright, once you get all that installed, you can basically just go to the mods page, whether it's on fabric. I don't even know if they have one on Forge anymore, because I remember they used to, but I don't know if they took it out, because Forge is weird. But, yeah, you got, you can just find it, it should be somewhere, if I can find this. Yep, there it is, no more Squidward Villagers, woo, yay. Alright, once, once you're in here, you just find a village. Uh, I've got some of these on. So, I'm gonna hit slash locate village. This is a good command, by the way. You just do this, and it'll tell you the nearest nearest village. If it tells me this airborne one, no. Oh, it's right here. Duh. Alright, so you go to this village, right? There's this, then boom. There's people here. Hello, yes. There's a lady here, and you talk to them. They got hearts, they got moods, they got personalities. You hover over this and they tell you how the personality helps you or hurts you. They're friendly, you get bonus hearts for interactions, right? You talk to them and you go chat and then boom. And then this will be more hearts than you normally get because they've got a personality that helps you that. Why are we lags? Why is, why? Lucas, hello Lucas, you're athletic. Of course you are. Uh, <laughs> runs faster, all right? So, th so this is your hearts. This tells you basically how, how much they like you in a number, right? You need, if you got to marry somebody, right? Which is the thing you can do in this game because you got a whole bunch of stuff. Hello, Kylan. Uh, you need, if you have like an engagement ring, which is like, you make that by going, so how do you go make an engagement ring? Engage and ring. You either, so there's rose gold and there's regular. Rose gold is, you can't get rose gold yet, but you can make, I think, it. You can make it. But you can't get rose gold yet because they haven't made it so that it pops up in the world yet, which is they're working on it. But yes, it says has the hearts required to marry someone because you need hundred if you have a full-on wedding ring. Because this is how it differs, right? From the old one, you used an engagement ring and then a wedding ring to get gifts. But if you didn't have it, you just married them. That's it. But with this one, you don't get gifts at all, right? But you can. At 50 hearts, you can give them an engagement ring, and then you're married to them. It's, yeah. You don't have to worry about, like, oh, where did Lucas go? You don't have to worry about a whole bunch of everything. Oh, are you okay? Because you can see they're, they're like, crying. Mood's depressed. That's cool. You got hearts. 50 hearts to marry if you, wait, if you have an engagement ring. 100 hearts to marry if you have a regular wedding ring. You don't also go to the negatives, and that means they don't like you. <laughs> and I think they start getting mean if you do, if you get to that point. Then you also got this last interaction analysis. This tells you basically how well your last interaction with them went. And you've got different points that 
all add up or subtract to get you a percentage chance of that interaction either working is a percentage chance of that interaction successfully going right and if it's see it says 71 that means 71 percent chance that it was successful it means i also got a what 29 percent chance that it wasn't successful I got this and you see how the ring silver right and it says not married that means they're not married to anybody and the silver part means they're not married to like any other villagers which you can do because you can get uh let's see if we go to minecraft comes alive thing if i can see there we go you can get silver rings which is matchmakers rings and you give this you get and you can go to like married people so you, you you're a teenager hang on so i need you Interact, follow me. You're. Where is. Where's. Where's Lucas? Where did he run off to? So, what you do is once you get these two, you gift. Get, get, interact, gift this guy. And you gift this. Actually, no, hang on. Okay, so they just, they just basically have them both follow you. They're really close to each other, like next to each other. And then, boom, you just give one to give them. And they're, they're, rare, they're married, right? And you see that now it says one's Kylan's married to Elisa and Elisa's married to Kylan, right? They also got genes, which is cool because they've got actual genes now instead of just being randomly generated skins. <laughs> like randomly, everybody just has a random look to them. The, this will actually carry on to people, right? And they've also got like their personalities, I think, do that. Maybe, I don't know. But you see here, genes, they actually has stuff that like carries on between people so if kai so 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 breast 88 <laughs> and then uh, this guy doesn't even have any or if they have a girl right it'll be i think it'll either be 88 or it'll be 44 because this guy don't even have any so that's how that works it's pretty neat right and then their skin color just don't be don't be mean to people if you their skin color <laughs> Will be a cross between the two, I think. I think that's how it works. Either that'll be like one of the other, cause like random. But you know what I mean. What do you want? We we want. Get out of my face. Um. Move freely, and then move freely. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. But then you also got. You can give them. So this is you talk to them, right? And you have got greeting, and you've got chatting. And you've got telling jokes, and you can like different jokes. And you've got tell stories, and you can do different, well, I mean, that's just one. You got hug, flirt, and kiss. Basically, same thing you got in the old ones, but with different menus. Um, he's all, he's traits, by the way. You can also get traits. So, see? Colorblind. He can't see colors. That's pretty neat, huh? And that's also a thing that'll, uh, so that's a trait that'll carry on to his children. That's pretty neat. Blueprint, right? This thing is one of the most important things you can get in this version of Minecraft Comes to Life because it does everything to make you awesome, whether that makes you like a governor or like a, a whatever president or king. I think it's king in this one. Um, but you got, okay, so you get this, you make this, and you make this by going, how do you make this? That's not it. R? There it is. So you get paper, lots of paper. You get blue dye, and you get a blueprint. Right, and you can basically do everything with it. This is how you get up your rank. It tells you exactly. This tells you what your rank is and the stats of your everything. And this tells you what um, you have to do to increase your rank. You go to the catalog and you build one of these based off what it says here. Right? Yeah. You just build this, and if it if the auto scan doesn't automatically find it, uh, you go you go add building. And boom, it pops up. It says building added. Boom, pops up. When you go to villagers, this tells you all the villagers in your village. Like, where there's uh, Elisa and Kylan, the two we married. And you can actually click on them. You can see their family tree. So, some random person, some random person made Kylan, right? And it says he's an orphan. Basically, everybody starts out as an orphan, pretty sure. Because they don't, like, you don't know what they're... What the heck? Oh, cool, you have a hat on. I was like, what's wrong with you? Are you weird? You have like a hat on and it has, or oh, your hair's dyed. I'm pretty sure it's a hat. Okay, pretty neat. Basically, zero to 100, 
100% means every time there's like, there's like you get a bunch of taxes like basically higher percentages the more taxes you get same with the birth limit the you limit how many people you can have or how many kids people can have right um, and then marriage limit each every rank you get unlocks this I'm pretty sure and a marriage limit basically tells you how many people how many people I think it's like the chance of people getting married in your village but not too sure it's either it's either there's a limit on how many people can be married in your village or the chance of people getting automatically married which they can do by the way if they're, they're just friends with each other out in the village they can just automatically randomly be married that's how people progress in what hello <laughs> Oh, so 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 this lady's an archer, right? So she's just sitting here. She saw this is the baby zombie. The baby's yeah 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 yeah. So she's just shooting at these dudes, right? That's pretty neat. That's where you have guards and such. Then you also got graveyards. This is something that people were trying to ask or that people were asking a lot about. Where's where's it? Here we go. Graveyards. So what you do with these, right? If somebody let's say somebody dies, right? You, play, you place this down, and you, you just place it down, and once we find him, there's Alan. You know what? We can kill Alan. So, Alan is... Oh yeah, people get mad at you, like the gardens and stuff get mad at you if, if you kill people. Kind of like the iron golems do if you hit a villager. But then what you do, right, is once they're dead, Hey, 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 see, see, see. So sometimes it does it automatically. I don't know if it always does it automatically, but yes. The, the, this one did it automatically. Then what you do is, since it says here's Elias Allen, I gotta go to the MCA page. Eventually, there it is. You can get a scythe by killing the Grim Reaper. And you, this is a big dude, right? He killed him, he's got 300 health. I think he's like the wither, I think he just, like, goes around and kills people and stuff. Yeah, like, you just keep whacking them and stuff. There, you get this scythe. And it tells you, kill a villager and catch a soul and right click a tombstone to revive. But be careful, the fallen villager will rise as an undead. Yeah. That's not ideal. So what you do is... You go to the MCA page. You can make this staff of life. I don't know. I don't know if you can make this. Let's see. Can you make this? Yeah. So you get another star, an end rod, and the scythe, and you make this. And what you do is you right click a tombstone and revive a dead villager. Hello. People's doing stuff. And you just move I think that might have failed, I'm not too sure. And it might be because I killed myself. But yes, that's basically all you do. And it was doing a whole bunch of cool stuff, and it sh they should come back. Then there's also a thing. This is different between the version I'm playing right now, called 7.2.1, and the one that's coming out soon. And they have Alpha's floor called 7.3. In seven, in this, in this one, 7.2.1, you got it, slash MCA editor. Which I think you still have it in this one, in the other one too. But there's this dude here, right? And it says, hey, that's you, right? That's weird. Um, basically, this is your version of the villager editor book, but for yourself, for your own character. And you can change this however you want to match yourself. Problem is, in 7.2.1 and earlier, it doesn't really do anything. Because they haven't, this isn't the 7.3 is the one that they're coming out with that actually implements all these features as itself. Problem is, they have yet to also implement player skins. So in 7.3, you have this, and you can like, and it affects your genes, it affects everything, like how people talk to you, it affects your genders, you can do this, you have a female with a beard, um, which is, you know, you can be a kid, you can be a baby. You can change your mo your father, your mother, your spouse. 
you can change your skin colors you can change like the size of your body you can change the width of your body you can change your you can change like the type of skin you have where like how if you got like the birthmarks or whatever you can change like your hairstyle you can, you can change like your traits heterochromia you got two colored eyes electrify serban you can you can you can be a serban if you want so that's pretty neat I'm not gonna explain what a serban is because that's for you to use for you to find that's for you to discover all right people people all right let's just say serban is not a word it's a word but it's but it's not a word serban is as serban does that's all I'm saying for that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So you can make these by doing other things. So you got, I think they have a wiki, but I don't even know if they finished it. Again, Serban. <laughs> Roughly enough items. It's amazing for this. You go hit R. You discover the this. R, this is how you make an upright headstone. Slanted headstone. Cross headstone. Wall headstone. I mean, yeah. You got divorce papers, by the way. You can also give this... Uh, do as it says. Give this to your spouse to, me, to end an unhappy marriage. Um, oh, yeah. People can get infected. Which is not fun because if you don't have a golden apple and you don't have... I don't, I don't know if you need a potion weakness. But, yeah. If you don't have like a golden apple and a, probably a potion weakness, you basically are SOL for that villager. Um, you got a whistle. You know, this is kind of expensive, but it's also really useful because, uh, and especially if you're playing older versions, because your villagers wander. They don't wander off, like, out of the village or whatever, but it's, it's, in older versions, they teleported, and they kind of teleported into, they didn't really check if they were good places, so there could be a cave kind of close underground like this, right? There could be a cave somewhere you don't even notice, and they could teleport, obviously not with the water, and they could teleport there, and then they're basically just gone. And if there's zombies down there, they're, they're dead. They're dead. So then what you do with this whistle here is if you can't find them, right? You, you right-click this, and you, you can call your family members back. Then it's not all villagers, but it's just your family members, right? Um, yes, and then you got... You can have babies. You can basically do all the stuff you could do in old versions. You got books. You got family tree book. basically tells you... Basically, everybody who's you've met, you can find the family tree of. I think it's just in your village, but yeah. Yep. And they've got books that also tells you how to do some stuff. And you get these by unlocking achievements. Don't put these in the furnace. Then you also got like a jeweler workbench. I think this is a work in progress. I think. Yeah, yeah. So I can, you can't even craft that. So like, yeah, I think this is just a work in progress. But yeah, you know, so kill those monsters. That's basically all that's in this so far. You can go to the Discord. I'll have a link for that in the description. You can go to the Curse Words page. I'll also have a link for that in the description. I think I'll have a link to the... They should have a... They have a link to the Discord on the Curse Words page. So that's pretty pretty good. Um, yeah. So that's pr pretty much it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click click, click the like button, subscribe if you're new to my channel and stuff. So for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I hope this is good enough for you guys.